what's going on what's happening welcome back to the channel for those that have been paying attention we just wrapped up the regular season with a big win over the new york giants and now it is time to start the playoffs but before we jump into our first game we gotta check out some sports center see what's going on around the league because it is wild card weekend so let's see who picked up some victories we got the saints winning by 10 over the buccaneers 30 to 20 then we got the jaguars pulling out a close one against the chiefs 31 28 and that is not good for the Chiefs. I thought they were going to do a little bit better, but it's not It's not going to work out, man. Priest Holmes gets injured in that game. He will be out for the rest of the season. Well, that's a good thing for them because <laughs> their season is pretty much over. Uh, never like to see digital injuries, but hey, man, it's football and things happen. The Broncos drop one to the Steelers and they will advance in the playoffs and the Packers pick up the win over the Washington Redskins. And hey, man, I ain't even mad at that because I don't want to see the Redskins again at all. I don't mind playing either team, but I hate playing another division game, especially in the playoffs. Can Pittsburgh be stopped? A complete rundown of injuries in the NFL and who will walk away with primetime player honors. But hey, that's on next week's Sports Center, man. We are ready to go. It is the playoffs? We got fans filing in right now. It's time. It's time. It's time to get things cracking. We are here in beautiful digital Texas Stadium, right here in Irving, Texas. And it's go time, man. It's playoffs. I am so excited for this right now. Hopefully, we can pick up the dub in our first playoff game in advance. But you never know what happens, man. We did defeat the Saints in the regular season. Uh, we did pick up a decisive victory over them. And we're looking to do the same thing once again. But let's go ahead and get this thing started, man. First and 10 for the Saints. And that pass is complete to Joe Horn. And he's going to take that for a huge gain. But there's a flag on the play. Hopefully, they'll be bringing that back. But let's see what happens, man. And no, they're not bringing it back at all. That's another defensive pass interference on the Dallas Cowboys. And look at this. On the very next play, Joe Horn picks up a huge touchdown. And the Saints go up early in the ball game. And that's not, not what we want to see at all. Joe Horn does his thing every time we played him, even though we've only played him once. But he's doing his thing right now Dixon could not catch up to him Roy Williams got burnt it's not a good look for us at all that toss play is gonna go to Orange Julius and he's gonna take that for a gain of five and now we're gonna hand it off to Orange Julius once again who will pick up a gain of three third down and two and we try to toss it to him once again three straight run plays does not work out for us they will get the ball back and on first and 10, that is a seven yard gain from McAllister. And he's been doing his thing as well. And now, looks like he picks up the first down, but there is a flag on the play. And we're gonna see what this is. Looks to be holding. And that's gonna go against the offense. And that will push them back 11 yards. Now, here we go, second down and 14. And there is an interception on the play. Your boy Roy comes up with a big pick and a way for us to get back into the game. Terry Glenn is going to catch this one down the middle. Excellent throw from Quincy Carter. And that's what we need all playoffs. We need Quincy Carter to be making good throws, limit those interceptions, and make things happen. And in double coverage, he finds my man in the whole hundred grand, PK Sam, right down the middle. Our sideline is loving what they're seeing right now, and I don't blame them at all. And then we're gonna hand the ball off to Orange Julius, and he's gonna take that one in for a short game, but it's a touchdown nonetheless, and that's what we needed. We are back into the ball game, 
It's all tied up now. Seven to seven. Shout out to Orange Julius, man. Shout out to Orange Julius. The man knows what he's doing. That's another pass to Joe Horn, and I would really appreciate if somebody could guard Joe Horn anytime in this game. You know, sooner than later, but anytime would be very nice. He's got three receptions for 95 yards. It's still the first quarter. It is very much still the first quarter. Now that handoff is going to go for a huge game as he goes out around the 20, 25 yard line. And that will end the first quarter as we are all tied up right here in Dallas, seven to seven. Now here we go, first and 10 for the New Orleans Saints at the 26 yard line. And it's a pick, it is a pick. And it might be cleats and booty cheeks. Oh, never mind. N no, no, never mind. Not gonna take it to the house, but an interception is an interception and we will take that good play by our defense way to keep us in the game now that pass is going to go to pk sam and pk sam will go down at the 16 yard line as we see what this penalty is i really would not like it if it went against us but it would be okay nope it's not going to go against us at all and that's going to bring up a third down and seven now quincy carter ah, tries to throw it for a touchdown we had him open for a split second it did not work out for us and we will have to settle for a field goal kick is up kick is good and my man billy is out here getting silly shout outs to Cundiff, man he did his thing on that field goal and that's what we need we need accurate kicks as well because i already know we're not going to be able to score touchdowns every single time and what is going on this one looks like it's going to the house and that's exactly where it's going he had reservations for seven and man that is not that is not a good way to start off the next possession for the saints i mean it's good for them but it's definitely not good for us at all as Henderson runs this one all the way back. Billy, oh man, we could not catch him at all. And they're gonna run that one in for a touchdown as the New Orleans Saints go up 14 to 10 here in the ball game. We're gonna hand this one off to Orange Julius and he's gonna pick up a gain of four on first down. Now, second down and six, and we drop him back and getting sacked loss of eight on the play that'll bring up third and 14 will smith out there making his impression in the game and man i i would love it if somebody could block him i'm not even gonna lie to you will smith is a monster we cannot complete the pass on third and 14 and that will set us back and now on second down we end up getting a big sack with my boy Leroy glover Somebody call Brooks' his mother. He's hurt, man. He's hurt out in the streets. And now that pass is complete, and he's going to go out. Not enough for the first down. Gain of six on the play, and we will get the ball back, which is exactly what we need. That pass goes down the middle, 21 yards, to my man Larry Fitzgerald, and we will immediately call a timeout as time is winding down here in the second quarter third and 22 after that monster sack and now it's 33 seconds left to go here in the ball game or not the ball game but at least the first half that pass is complete to pk sam and i believe that was our last timeout of the half so we have to make something happen here and we got to do it quick that is a pass complete to larry fitzgerald 10 seconds left to go and we are rushing rushing to that line trying to get something going hopefully we can just throw a quick income no we tried to throw a quick incompletion it did not work out for us we tried to stop the clock i ain't gonna lie to you i ain't gonna hold you i have no idea how to spike the ball i have completely forgot and that will close the half with the saints up Four points on the Cowboys, 14 to 10. And here we go with the Not Chris Berman halftime show. 
the Cowboys, man. We looking good in the passing game. Our rushing game <laughs> looks very usual for us. Uh, we are leading in time of possession and total yards. And the turnovers, we are getting them to turn the ball over. And that is big for us, but we are still down here in the ball game. And we're going to find Jason Witten as he extends his mittens and gets us a much needed first down as we move into Saints territory. And now another pass to Terry Glenn, and he does it once again. Beautiful pass by Quincy Carter. He's making things happen, man. And I like what's going on. And we're going to find Patrick Creighton in the end zone. And our rookies are showing out today. Our rookies are doing their thing. And we will take the lead once again as Dallas is now up 17 to 14. And now here we go. Pass is complete. And oh man, Stallworth is taking this one straight to the house. He's got reservations for seven as well. And that is gonna be a touchdown on the play. 69 yard touchdown for Stallworth. And he's gonna go straight to the house as we take another look at this one. Newman extended, could not bring it down. And he is all, he's gone, man. Cleats and booty cheeks all the way to the end zone. Excellent touchdown, excellent play by the Saints. And now here we go, Quincy Carter with the play fake, play action on the play, and he almost throws an interception on third down and 12, and the Saints are gonna get the ball back now. Third and eight, Brooks is dropping back, and the pass is batted down, and Dallas will get the ball back, and that's exactly what we need. Second down and 11 now, and we're gonna find Terry Glenn wide open, and Terry Glenn is going straight to the end zone. He ain't playing with these Saints. I mean, he playing, but he's not playing with them at all. And we go up 24 to 21 as we take the lead in our first playoff game. And what a man Terry Glenn is as he tossed the ball in the stands to the fans. Extend your hands, because it's on the way. Terry Glenn, we're gonna have to take another look at this, man. Look at Terry Glenn, he is gone. He is straight to the house, and that's what we need on our wide receiver core, a veteran out here making plays in the playoffs. And now Brooks almost throws another interception on first and 10. And now here we go, third down and eight. And we need Kelly Gregg to do something, and he can't do nothing at all, but it's an incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down and eight and we will get the ball back as that will close the third quarter. We are still on top, but only by three points, 24 to 21. And here we go, starting off the fourth quarter. We're gonna hand this ball off to Orange Julius Jones, and he will pick up a gain of five. Third down and three now, and we're looking to stay on the field. And that's not realistic at all as he gets sacked, dropped on his back, and that's not, that's not gonna work out for us, man. Grant gets a big sack here in the ball game, and that pass is complete to Stallworth, and he is out here doing his thing, man. These Saints players are trying to put us to bed. I don't like what's going on. There is only one minute and 38 seconds left to go in our first playoff game and we get a stop. It is now fourth and one, and they choose not to kick the field goal. They tried to run it, and Kelly Gregg, our MVP, our defensive MVP for that matter, gets the stop, and we are red hot right now. Let's go, Cowboys. We will pick up the victory in a extremely close game, 24 to 21. And it was looking a bit shaky at times. I'm not even going to hold you. But we got the win. Man, come on, man. In our first season, we advanced in our first playoff game. And that is the way we get it done. Now, here we go with the Not Chris Berman post-game show. 342 yards passing from my man Quincy Carter. 342 Come on, man. Come on, man. We had doubts about Quincy Carter earlier in the season, but if this is the way that we're going to play in the playoffs, 
I ain't even mad at you, Quincy. I ain't mad at you at all. Brooks threw two interceptions in the game, two touchdowns as well, but those interceptions really did hurt them. And hey, man, that's uh, you're gonna have to try next season. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you on that one. Orange Julius did pick up a touchdown, not many yards on the ground, but hey, man, that's the story of our season. PK Sam, Terry Glenn, both guys go over 100 yards. Larry Fitzgerald did his thing as usual. That's just what he does, man. You already know that, though, if you've been keeping up with this season. I, hey, I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. I am extremely excited for the next game. I can't wait to see what happens. Whew, this was a nail biter, though, man. And I'm glad we got out of there with a victory. But hey, next game, I don't know who we're playing, but I know we're in for another fight because it is the playoffs and it seems like these teams are playing a lot harder. But hey, man, I appreciate you stopping with me, rocking with me. Until the next time we speak, I've been me, you've been you. I'm out.